Welcome to your daily illumination. This is the Peace Dealer. And this video is for October 10th, 2016. And I made a very interesting discovery. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. I made a very interesting discovery. So, uh, when you, if you are like on the other side of the world and you're like, say, um, 12 hours ahead of me and you're already in the next day, I just realized that if you're watching this video for the 10th, this actually applies for the 11th. Just like if you're watching a daily astrology video for the 10th, it's actually going to be your 11th. And I didn't, I didn't know that before until I really thought about it. Let's say I try to interpret the astrology for today. All right. And I call that the 10th. If I put that out on the 9th and you saw this, thinking, oh, well, it's my 10th, you have to understand when I'm interpreting the astrology for the 10th here, all right, when I, and I say, let's say I do it at 3 p.m., this is your 11th. So if I'm interpreting the astrology for the 10th and the planets the way they are, when it's at your 11th, then it's actually, you know, it would be wrong of me to say that, oh, this is the 10th for you too. So, you know, you for those of you who are 12 hours ahead, I just realized, um, you, you, it, it, it kind of is in sync. So when I pull these cards down, you don't have to worry about, oh, well, what about the previous day for me? As I pull it for the 10th, it's working for your advanced day. All right. So the card that I have for everyone is the three of pentacles. And let's just be honest. There's work to do. I just shuffled this randomly and I even got the 10 of pentacles. So it's going to pay off. There's work to do. Um, you want to try and see who you can incorporate in your wonder team. All right. There's a dream that you want to manifest in this world and you can't do it alone. You can try and do it alone. Um, and if you know, um, you know, Kage Bunshin no Jutsu, you can make some clones, but hey, you're still going to need other people than just you. So this is not really so much of an emphasis of getting out there and finding teammates. I'm pretty sure they'll come, uh, but you want to focus on the work you have to do. You want to focus on the draft of what you're manifesting because that first draft is being written and it's really coming to pass and you're really going to gain great wisdom of how to move this work doing forward. But honestly, the, the if you're still confused about what this means, work. That's it. If you feel like you're lazy, if you feel like you're doing nothing, if you're not working, work. And I don't mean like laboriously. And this isn't the eight of pentacles where it's like work your ass off and sweat your brow. Just work like do find something that is relevant to skills you want to develop and put practice in it and put work because this is the card of the apprentice. And, and on a deeper spiritual level, a lot of you are becoming apprentices to your higher selves, to certain angels, to certain spirit guides. So there are going to be certain spiritual secrets you're going to start gaining that they'll talk to you through conversations with others, through certain things you read. Trust me, see between the lines. It's, it's not it's not you being delusional. You're, you're going to start uh, gaining higher contact with higher people because Neptune and Pisces is still trining Venus and Scorpio. So the card that we have for love is the four of wands. This is a great card. Expect surprises, expect serendipity. You want to be grateful. If you, if you want to be in a relationship so bad right now, but you're single and you've been single for so long, you want to be grateful that you're single. You want to be grateful that, Hey, I've been able to uh, experience what I've experienced. It's not what I have wanted, but I'm grateful that I'm alive. If you're in a relationship and you're with that partner that you've always wanted, or if you're in a relationship and your partner isn't really up to par, be grateful that you're in a relationship. Be grateful that you've learned the lessons you've learned. I'm not saying if you're in an abusive relationship, you should be grateful for it. You should probably leave that. But if you're in a relationship, if you're single, be grateful for where you are right now. And really, really, really hold happiness in your heart. Okay. I know, um, some of these cards that I pull may not happen in the way you expect, but it's an open mind of positivity. That's going to allow certain things to manifest. So at the four of wands is very positive, And I get the sense that, uh, some of you who are not even expecting anything will get some great news. This is really talking about sharing a festive home. And since this is the love card, some of y'all may get proposed to, you know what I mean? This is is a wedding card. This is something that's very festive. So I don't want you to expect to, to, 
to get popped the question today. I don't want you to expect to get in a relationship with the love of your life, but really expect positive development towards that. And hey, it could actually happen to some of you like that. And especially those of you in relationships, y'all might move in with each other or find a great roommate. So the karmic card is the seven of wands which is so timely i just put out a new world war zero video if you haven't seen it you better see it right now and it's about frame wars and this is exactly what that's talking about you have to stand up for what you believe okay it doesn't matter how many accolades people have and how much smarter they think that you are you need to trust yourself and even if you're wrong still stand up for yourself so that you can be corrected with the confidence and trusting yourself it's okay people think that it's 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 horrible to be wrong it's okay to be wrong in a civil discussion and argument this is what it's for so that you can be clarified but you'll find today that you're not wrong you'll find today that there's a reason you have to stand up for yourself and that there are other people watching seeing you stand up for themselves so that they can be more courageous for themselves and until tomorrow